if you don't within 24 hours bring your cart back either three foot if you uh, live in the city or 10 foot you live in the parish what kind of personnel do we have to go and put out fines if someone doesn't put out their cart I, I don't why is why is that established and then in that it says without when 30 day calendar days then you're going to file a mortgage I mean the, the amount of the invoice shall be recorded in the mortgage office of Lafayette Parish and then a lien can be you know against the property I need someone with either public works or the administration I don't know who handled this but to me I don't think we have the personnel to have someone to go see in 24 hours if a cart's put up properly and then who's going to find them it just seems very nitpick I'm just curious of why that's there uh, let me let me take a crack at it first uh, you'll remember when the the complaints first came the city parish president put forth the issues with this ordinance was that it did not have any teeth or its enforceability was difficult the and, and that the council indicated at that time some council members bring it to us and we'll put the teeth in it so that's that's one of the things that's being done outside of the the generic penalty provision of all ordinances which are misdemeanors which and, and I would defer to Mr. Bear, but as I recall that could incur a fine of up to five hundred dollars a day and or jail time well if if this is teeth then what would the generic teeth be in the ordinance nobody felt like that was appropriate so we went to legal counsel and that's the purpose of the discussion what teeth the council decides to put in it uh, Mr. Bellard raises some some significant questions certainly uh, regarding who will be the can police will it be the environmental services division of public works will it eventually end up with the police department although certainly an officer could take a complaint and presumably write a citation as he would for any violation of municipal ordinance but you you are now in the midst in the middle of the discussion that we've had about the difficulty of enforcing this provision regardless of what you end up amending the code to be okay and, and I guess I, I didn't know this was a big problem obviously you're saying it is uh, and, and, and I it guess it is a big problem if you live in the na in, in certain areas it is including one right up against your district <laughs> is right where your district is you, as you know some of it involves commercial some of it involves apartments some of it involves individuals who just aren't being good neighbors so it, it certainly is a big problem if you're the person who lives next door to the problem okay because I just I don't see putting a, a lien on someone's property if you are not three feet away I don't understand how we're gonna police this with, with the, the people that we have now that are, are, are maximized at full potential and then the fine amount I mean and I'm just throwing this out there because this is just a discussion you know, find them a hundred dollars a month until it reaches that five hundred dollars. But to to sit there and and I'm just throwing that out there. But to say you're going to put a lien on your property because I didn't move my trash can. The decision, the decision on what the penalty will be, will be the council's, and the responsibility of enforcing the council's policy and the code as adopted will be the administration's. So again, valid questions. Is the, is the problem widespread? I would think probably not it's widespread geographically but it's not something that we get daily complaints on we do get more targeted complaints where the problem is is more concentrated and we are we're attempting to deal with that th you know through amendments to the code uh, and and I'll end with this because other council members want to speak one of the things that I kind of want to watch while we're doing this is putting more laws on the books that we can't enforce I do not know and maybe you can help us do we have the manpower to enforce this or is it going to be just when someone calls and complain you're going to watch them for 24 hours and then go assess a fine I don't want it to be where all of a sudden we're taking personnel to go see if your courts the proper feet off I don't the road. I don't think if you're if you're asking me as, a, as an administrator whether I envision a cart patrol I do not I do envision if a council member or, or a citizen refers a complaint to the proper agency, then we will make a decision on which, which person, which human being to dispatch to that complaint and evaluation and the decision will be made at that time as it relates to the code. We certainly have the ability to respend the manpower to respond to complaints once the, the code is fixed. 
upon recommendation of council. We, we certainly do not have, and it's probably not necessary, to have the manpower to do a patrol, a cart patrol. October the 25th, the night of the 25th, the evening of the 25th, there is a fundraiser that I'm sure each one of you will want to attend at $1,000 a Mr. Stanley, can you help me out with that? Are you, are you familiar with that? On the TIF? On yes. the one, yeah. It, yes. As I remember, that was the TIF that... Uh, that expired, or at least the, the TIF boundaries do not expire, but the collection of taxes within the what, TIF. What, are, what, what were those boundaries? It is a, you're going to have to get a map because it is, it, it's carefully right. calculated. But Acadian and Hills was in that, correct? I remember. Uh, Acadian Hills Acadian proper Hills. was in the yeah. TIF. Jay is shaking his head, and I would defer to him. I think that is correct. But I do not believe, I don't know that Correct Place was or just the front piece that fronts on the highway. It, we'd, have, it, we'd have to go back and check the okay. map. But regardless, no tax can be collected on that TIF unless it comes back to the council. I understand. Right? I, just, I just remember that there being a TIF there and it wasn't, uh, we had money sitting there. I think what, I think you guys said, what, $1.1 or something 